So uh, the hell are we doing today, bro? <laughs> More acrylic, obviously. <laughs> We're gonna be focusing on sculpting. Yes. Oh. You see that? Building the free edge. Take a look at how I'm actually bending. Like I always thought I'm always bouncing. Way That's too small. Way too small. Way too small. Slide it up. Can you come here and just, just grab my hand? Oh, so this, I'm gonna keep this? Yes. Get yourself a nice healthy pearl, okay? You're holding it with the Darth Vader death. Bro, row. I was like, Ugh. Pushing it and like you get this huge lump. Then after I'm done, I can go like that. <laughs> Got him on a chase like chase like chase like I'm on a chase like chase like putting him to work. Student putting the teacher to work. I think one of the big keys before learning to do nails is to have a giant cup of coffee next to you. I want to fill this with sand, bro, and just Smack me. slap you across the Should I? <laughs> Should? And I love doing that. Is that weird that I like doing that? Snap! All right. Okay, let's get this. Party started. We're going to be focusing on sculpting. We're going to focus on form application. We're going to be focusing on building the free edge as flush to the natural nail. We're going to start off with short extensions and then overlay it from cuticle to free edge uh, and then you guys can share all of the painful lessons that Habib is about to learn but I will ask all the right questions so don't you worry okay, okay. so on top so, of preparation you also have to clip off the free edge as much as you can if I'm sculpting Okay, so if a client comes in like this, I gotta, I gotta shorten these down? Look, at the end of the day, it's, it's simple. If you're going to be building an extension, if you're going to be building an yeah. extension, you wanna try to clip away as much of the natural nail as you can. Okay, okay. but not all the way back. Like, you want I want a little free you edge. You want just a really, really small free edge, that way you can get the form, form underneath. underneath. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So I'm just gonna start with one. Or should I just do all four? No, let's just do one. We'll do We're one at a time. We're just gonna focus one at a time. All right, so how far, like, okay, screw it. Let me just go, man. Well, let me, oh, you're not doing anything. I want you to bring it all the way up to here. Clip okay. a diagonal. Right you know, here? The whole entire, wait, Oh. the whole thing. Like that? Yeah, the, the whole free edge, gone. Oh, the whole free, like this diagonal? Yep. Clip it. Hold on, I want to make sure, okay. And then I want you to remove everything from the side as much as you can. Here? Yep. There you go. Clip more off this side. There you go. Okay. See that? Okay. And now round off the edges. And that's how you would do it on a person. That's too, exactly right? what you're going to do. For all of you guys that are going to be practicing on these hands, you want to try to remove as much of the plastic from the front end as you possibly can because, again, you want to be able to work off of something that is just past the nail plate. Okay, the end I, of the nail bed. All right, okay. All right, pusher? Oh, pusher, that's what I need. <laughs> I'm gonna get a pusher. Yep. Okay, so I would... Push the cuticles back. Push back the cuticles. Yeah. Good, good balance. And once you push the cuticles back, you're going to prepare the natural nail. Right. Like that, right? Correct. I mean, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah, right, look at that. Yeah, exactly. So one of the things, again, is, is, is being able to tickle the inside of somebody's wrist yeah. so it's very gentle. Yeah. That's the pressure you want to be able to use. Super gentle. Overhand grip mm -hmm. and perp. Correct. And I'm going to go ahead and remove. Shine around the cuticle area. Good job, man. The whole, the whole thing is just getting practice. It's getting used to the motion. That's very good. Is that good? That's, that's really good. You have all the shine removed from the natural nail. It was yeah. a very gentle way of removing it. Yeah, the, 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 the main thing from the last lesson, bro, was like, 
it's I'm only making contact when I come towards myself right. and like I'm just barely hitting the surface. Correct. That that huge. was that's a huge difference. That made all the difference for me. So now I understand. Like right. so why? Let me fix this. Fix it, bro. <laughs> Alright, cool. One thing you're gonna realize you guys watching us do this is I'm here to observe basically all the steps that he takes so that he doesn't miss. And you guys, it, it's, it's following, it's repeating the same process over and over and over again so that it becomes habit. And we're going to be doing that a lot. And that way it's not only going to be habit for him, it's going to be habit for you. Correct. So he's going to go through all 10 nails. Replicating the drying process <laughs> and applying it again. All right. Right. So I got that prepped, cleansed protein bond um, form. Forms. Right? Okay. So the key to applying forms is trying to get it flush underneath. The natural nail. Okay. And so what I mean by flush is that it has to be touching. You okay. can't have space. Okay. So so what you're saying is the top of this needs to make contact with the bottom of the nail. Correct. Right here, underneath. Correct. Okay. So what I want to show you basically how to do is the easiest way for me is to put the tab and pre-pinch the front of the nail. Okay. The front of the form, excuse me before I roll it on. Okay. Okay. Why don't you come around? So when I was in school, they taught me to actually take the form and roll it like this before I put it on. The problem is, is that there's no support here. So what I'm gonna show you to do is this. You're gonna take this form, okay. right? And you're gonna take this tab. You're gonna take this form, you're gonna take this tab, and you're just gonna place it underneath. Okay. I like to place it sticky side up so the whole thing stays sticky. Okay. And then what I want you to do is I want you to pre-pinch the form just like this. It doesn't matter if you pinch it all the way. I'm not concerned about how much you pinch it right now. I just want you to pinch the front so it stays together. Okay. And then I want you to open it up. I want you to open it up. And you can see that you have a natural C curve. See right. that? Okay, got That's it. That's what I want you to be able to do. Got it. Okay? All right. All right. Let me take this off. Pop out the tab. Yep. Tab right here? Yep, place underneath. That okay. way it just makes, you got extra support. Okay. It makes it really firm when you roll it. Yep, I can feel that, yep. nice and firm. Go ahead and, and focus on pinching that tab. Right here. Good. Right there, right? You can pinch more. I uh, say- So pinch more, more The up. front, just the front of the nail. Right, so like the loop's gonna get smaller. The loop is gonna get smaller, right. exactly. So more, how, how big does that, how far that, up that's, do I pinch? That's good right now. Okay, so like, like, like that. There you go, you can pucker it. Pucker it, I like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then open and the then back end. Open the back end. Okay. okay, so here's the thing. You see where you're holding it? Yeah. You're not gonna have any control here. Okay. You have to hold it down, yes. And that way it gives you the opportunity to open it up. Yeah. See that? Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. open it up. Right. So if you're placing it on my finger, you're gonna notice, right? You're gonna notice, look at that. Look how flush that is. Yeah. And just secure, secure the, the sides, side. just like that. That is all you do. See how tight it is? Yeah. So like if I'm so looking. When, you, when you're saying, yeah, so flush, it's just like boom. I'm gonna, here, let's do this. Do you see how it's touching the natural now? Yeah. Where is it touching? Yeah, just right up. 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 On the front, right? Right, right, right. That's right, right. the key, right? And if you're looking at the side, turn my finger to the side. Hold on, wait here. Right Perfect. Right there. Do you see how lined up it is right there? Like, look at my growth channel. So my growth channel starts here, and if I'm running it down, do you see how straight it is? Yeah. Uh, it just looks like it's coming pretty straight off the nail. That's like, what I want. Okay, yeah. That's what you want. Okay. All right. This. Let me take this away. Place underneath. Good. Here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to focus on just touching these two parts. Correct. And then I can pinch. Yeah, good. Right, right there. Yeah. Right? Good. So it looks like that. Yep. 
And then I'm gonna open up the form. Yeah. And then I'm gonna hold it at the base. Correct. And that feels nice. Yeah, and so you're gonna be using these fingers here to balance. Do you see these fingers here? These these guys? Yeah. To hold to hold my finger. Yes. Oh, you see that? that yeah, dude. bro. These right here are used to hold the finger so that you can yes. That's feels insanely stable, bro. Yeah. This right here. As you guys can see, is your guide to holding the finger. Because if you don't do that, yeah, then it's, then it's, it's like, kind of a wobbly session to get in. Yeah, it's like it's like that's secure. Get over, here. get over here. And then after I'm done, I can go like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so same thing here. Yes. Okay. So I'll hold this like okay. it, right. So and you're gonna notice, you bro. This is. Dude, you know what? My, my, I got my fingers on the bottom here, even. That's like, to, to, like correct. as a, as a, it's like so stable, correct. dude. I feel powerful. Good, I man. Do. No, no, seriously. Okay, so I'm gonna go in. Just make sure, you know, it's, it's flat. You just have to make sure that, yeah. And then when you release, look at that, bro. Go ahead and secure it. Good job. Just make sure it's completely secure on the yeah, side. Yeah, on the side. Yeah. So when you're sculpting on this practice hand, that's really good, bro. You, you know, you know what? Like, so stability. I move the form in, and then I just barely rock it up. Barely so that, rock it up. So that it attaches. Barely to the top. rock it. Up. Barely rock it up. Barely rock barely it up. Barely rock it up. <laughs> so that it attaches underneath the nail, and then I just go boop and yeah. I secure the sides. Correct. And it's, and it's in. So like Flynn, bro. In like Flynn. Flynn. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's cool. Is that a lot of beginners make the mistake of trying to get it tight to the corners. You don't want to get it tight to the corners. You want to get it tight to the front of the nail. Right. Because if you have a bitten nail, it's hard to mount the form flush underneath the nail because your sidewalls are up so high and it's usually splayed and wide and flat. When you're focusing on the front of the nail, it doesn't matter what the condition of the nail is. Right, 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 right. You're not trying to attach it there. Yet. Yeah. Or like like the sticky. I'm 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 aligning it there and then I attach Correct. it on the sides. So what's what's next now? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you build an oval nail. Okay. Actually, we're gonna have you build a square nail. What we're gonna do is you're gonna build your free edge. You're not gonna build length. You see up to this one line right here? Yeah, right, so right here. Yeah, literally, you see that one line right there? Yeah. You're going to build it flush to the nail. That means it is literally going to be just like the plastic extends out to this point right here. Okay. So you have to make sure. These are the growth channels. You see that, bro? Yeah, These I see are the that. growth channels. You just have to make sure that when you build your free edge, it does not go past that growth channel. Okay. That your growth channel. So, so within well, yeah, I got here. You. Okay. 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 So remember, you're not building the body. You're building something a lot smaller. So when you pick up the pearl, smaller pearl. Correct. Yeah. So which means I'm going to release probably a little bit more. Liquid. And you can drain a little bit of the liquid out. Got it. Right. That way it doesn't get away from you. So let me let me first practice. Get some pearls. Like yeah. picking up pearls, and you can kind of give me a, a feel of like what the right size is. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So. How medium sized pearl? That means you're gonna have to take literally press right the body of the brush against the dappen dish okay. firm to oh, release okay. a lot of the liquid. So whereas if I want to get a, a big pearl, it's literally like graze it. Right. Okay. Correct. So I'm gonna get a firm press against the dampen dish. Yep. Got it. That's it. Okay, that you did okay here. It's a little dry. So that is also going to be a little bit bigger than we want. Oh, it is? Yeah. You, you have to remember, you're only building a very small, thin tip. Sorry. Can I show you how much? Yes, please, okay. show me. Show, so me. Here, show me the pearl. Okay, so do you want me to come around? Yeah, come around, come around. Okay. So take a look at how I'm actually bending. See that? I'm bending it. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, and then watch this, one Mississippi. Oh, wow. So that was actually almost the same size. <laughs> so I, I want to go like half. Like that is enough. Okay. 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 So remember the size of the pearls. Watch this. And you're half not, a second. You're, you're not even bouncing, bro. No. I'm just touching it. Half a second. You see how it's all consistent? Yeah. Half a second. So it, it, in order, so if I was going to go one Mississippi, then I'm probably going to be at that size right there. Okay. If I need to go smaller, half a second. 
See that, the difference in size? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. and then obviously, you know, one Mississippi, two Mississippi is going to be double the size right, of this. Right, 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 large. So that's how you're going to be able to pick up consistency in sizes is based on the time it takes you to keep the tip of the brush inside the powder. Okay, so, so, okay. So I didn't know, I was not aware, I'm not, like I always thought I'm always bouncing, but you, that's only, that's... To get large pearls. pearls. Okay, but I want a small pearl, so it's... It's a. It is, but you're just lightly touching the surface. It's right. one bounce. Right, but I'm not going like do 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 do. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. So practice on getting, practice on so, removing. Yeah. Way That's too small. Way too small. Way too small. Think about the flat tip. Try to get it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'll show you something. Try to get it. You see how I'm actually pulling it flat? Yeah. So that. I can get myself oh. that, see that. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. Do that again, do that again. So you're gonna see how I'm literally pressing it wow. so that it's okay. literally flat. See that? Can you come here and just, just grab my hand? <laughs> and no, it's all, no, it's no seriously, it. seriously. So I, I, I want that feel. So, so like when you come so, in, it's it's literally, you see that? Oh yeah, at the middle of the brush too. Actually Not towards the tip, towards, towards the, the tip, tip. Because I need to remove a lot of liquid. Okay. I need to bring it down. So what happens if you go all the way down and you literally, you see I'm rinsing, uh, I'm almost rinsing it yeah, to the yeah, tip. Yeah, 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 so yeah. most of it is right there. Okay, got it. And then you're gonna notice that when I come in, see that? Like okay. that's it's a little, little bit small, too small, right. but what you're going to want to be able to do is even at that point, you see I'm actually I'm able to get something like this. A little bit bigger, okay. okay. But I want to get like this yeah. size, right? Okay. So I, I probably pulled off a little bit too much liquid, but just get a just get a medium sized pearl. One too small. I go like one, two, one. There you go. That size? That size right there. Because okay, so. we're going to do a short free edge. Okay. Try to figure out how much monomer to release. You're going to yeah. get a feeling eventually. You're going to be like, okay, I need a small pearl, so right. I need to remove more liquid. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to set it down to here, okay. and then you're going to wipe your brush immediately. immediately. Okay, set it down, then wipe the brush. The reason why you have to wipe your brush is because if it's too wet, it's going to stick to the acrylic. Okay. Remember, when we were doing the body, and it's wet, you're using a really light touch to get it from the cuticle to the free edge. Right. When you're working the free edge, you want your brush dry so that you can press it without it sticking got it. to the product. the product. Got it, got it, got it, okay. So okay. what we're gonna do is this before you start. Okay. When you set it to the front of the nail, okay. okay, for you to get it to the corner, you have to walk it down the side Okay, and I'm contouring the brush as yeah. I'm doing that. So check this out. You, you're just keeping it flat. You're gonna press it here. Okay. 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 You're gonna walk it all the way down to the side. Okay. As soon as it gets even with the growth channel, slide it up, and you're gonna have a little bit of a lump right here. Okay. And then from the top of that lump, you're gonna walk it to the corner from the top of the lump. Okay. And then okay. get it even again. Okay. You want me to show you? I'll show you how to do it, and then you can do the same exact thing. Okay. I think can, can we try it on a? Should we put multiple forms on these, or? So you're gonna notice. Right. Watch this. You're gonna notice that when I get my pearl. Oops. Let me get it a little bit bigger. You can go ahead and get like something medium, right? Okay. So watch how I set it down here. And then I'm gonna wipe my brush. Okay. And then what I usually do is I like to kind of square it off, okay? Okay. So look at it from the top. As I come down the side, come down the side, you see this? I'm gonna slide it. You see that little bit of a ledge? Yeah. From the top. And then, look at this, perfect. All I'm gonna do now is walk back over. Look at how even it is. Right, okay, here's right, a good example, right, watch right. this. I'm gonna walk it over, over, over. You see this? I'm gonna get it even. You see how it kind of lumps up? Yeah. And then walk it from the top. And then at this point right here, once you have it even, you now can use the body of the brush to kind of smooth it to out, smooth it out to make get it, it even, even all around. All around. Got it. Okay? Okay, okay. So that's how you're going to build it so that you have perfection. Okay, okay, that makes sense, dude. D don't be afraid to go a little bit. I would rather actually have you go a little bit bigger on the pearl. Okay. Then than small. Okay. 
Okay, get yourself a nice healthy pearl, okay? Good. So set it down. Set it right here? Yep, yeah, right in front. There. Wipe your brush. brush and then okay. get it even. If it starts to stick, and then yeah, yeah, go up and then walk from the top. Scoop it up. Do I use the body of the brush for yes. that? Yes. Good. Get it even. Good. Now back over the top. No, it's not. I it's don't okay. Enough, I feel like I don't have enough product. You don't, but that's okay. Walk over. The, perfect. Look at that, man. Good job. Okay, you see the see the front? Yeah. Kind of square it off to make it even. And do I use the, how do I? Yeah, like, the side of the brush, exactly. That section of the brush. Look at that. Good job, man. Okay, now you can, yep. Oop, oop. Okay. And use then I the, can. You can start to use the body of the brush to make it even. So the bot, it's good. I'm trying to get you to trust. I'm trying to get you to, tr yes, you feel that? Yeah, I can feel so that. I'm trying right. to get you to trust this part of the brush. Let me show you. Yeah. This part right, right there. here. Okay. Good job. That's, that's really, really good. Yeah, I, I, I can start to feel it like. The only thing is, is that you see how you pressed it and you see how the acrylic yeah. came up on top of the natural yeah. nail? That's not bad. Okay. A lot of the beginners out there, the problem is, is they pick up way too much and they end up pushing it and like you get this huge lump right here. This is good. Even though it's thin right here compared to here, that's okay. Okay, so what you're saying is, is this product right here that I've, I've come over the free edge, we don't want that. We want it butt up against so that it's flush. Correct. Is that the deal? That's correct. Okay. Okay. That's not gonna make a huge difference though, bro. Because it's, th it's thin, it's right? It's su super thin. So but, but still, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna practice that because I wanna get in the habit of- I want you to get in the habit of trying to build it as flush to the natural nail as you possibly can. Got it. Okay. So now I want you to overlay the nail. Oh, so this, I'm gonna keep this? Yes. Okay. Because that's good. Okay. So that is gonna be, let me just practice getting a pearl. Oh man, good job. Lay that down, mm -hmm. right there. Wow, Move all the way around. It's a little dry. It is a little dry, you gotta start brushing it through. Brush it through? Brush it through. Like that? Yeah, so brush it through from the back. See that what do you ledge? Mean? See the ledge right here? Brush it through. Right. Oh, on the All side. the way. Brush it through. See how it becomes tight? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. On the side. Brush it through. Here. Yep. And it'll it'll become tight to that corner. Yes. That's how you get it tight around the edges. Just brush it all the way through. All the way down. All the way down. Try to fuse the acrylic into that area. Brush it all the way down. You don't oh, want ledges. Wow. Oh wow, bro. Good. Good. Okay. Do you have a little bit of glitter in there? <laughs> I got a little bit of glitter in there, but that's okay. okay. So the thing is, is that it's flat, but that's not a problem because what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to add a little bit more and then build it all the way through. I'm not concerned. The yeah, whole, right now, it's yeah. just it's, get it's getting used to just doing the overlay so that you can go all the way through. Okay. You're going to notice. Oh, Oh my God, bro. You're holding it with the Darth Vader death. Bro, ring. I was like, Ugh. like, dude, I think my finger cramping. is like cramping. So one of the things you're gonna notice when I actually pick up the pearl here, I just wanna show you something. Sometimes if it's too wet, I'll just drain it out like this. You see that? And then when I get to the free edge and I set it down, see, see when I get to the free edge, it doesn't move. Okay, so I'll start from the middle and then I'll use the body, the more of the base of the brush to walk it down, right? Then I'll get it even here and then I'll walk it all the way up to the corner. See that? Yeah. And then I go back over the top, over the top, again, trying to get it as even as I can. See that corner? Get it even and then I start to use the body. See that? I'm yeah. almost wow. like, and then you can see how even my free edge is going to be. See how even that is? Right. And, and you can see as I start to brush it out, take a look at how, like you see how tight it is here all the way through? 
Okay, so I want to show you something. So for all of you guys out there that are learning to build these nails, including you, my Jedi Knight. <laughs> okay, so watch this. So when you get your pearl, I'm going to show you something. Get yourself a big pearl, and then I'm going to show. Once you set it to the cuticle area, okay, press, 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 press. Look at where I'm actually starting to pull. Uh, from the front. From the front. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you why I'm doing this. So, oh, so you get you get you, you get, get the, it, you arch. Get the arch. So if you look at the side, you see my arch. So I like yours started yours started to dry up so much that you were forced to bring it over the tip. Right. Where I set this one down, I'm like, well, I don't have enough product. I don't have enough product to bring it over the whole entire nail. I understand. So now what I can do is I can take the same size pearl Drop it right in the front. and I could turn my brush backwards and I could set it right in front. Look at this. When I actually pull, look at how it blends up. Right, right, right. Okay? Right, right. Now what I can do is I could take the body of the brush and do the same thing. Like I'm building another free edge. See that? Just go over the top, over the top using the body of the brush. And now I'm actually able to complete it in perfection with two. And you can see as I start to brush everything forward to make everything even, I turn to the side, I'm going to be able to build a, a good shape. Get yourself a little bit bigger of a pearl. Don't worry about the, the size. Good. Done? Yeah. So, there? Yeah, right in front of the nail. There you go. Wipe your brush. Yeah, you're forcing it out from the middle. So what am I doing? Keep going. Keep Just going. force it out from the middle. Yep. yep. And then walk it up from the top. Good, man. Good. Back over the top. Yep. Excellent. Wow. I don't have enough product. That's okay. You do. Walk it from the top. See? Slide that in the corner. Yeah, bro. Yeah, <laughs> square off the front end. Square. Use the base of the brush, the least where it's stiff. Okay. Good. Good job, man. Okay, you see how that side right there? Get that tight. Oh, uh, right here. Yeah. No. You see right that? Yeah. Get it tight with the base. Yes. Right there. Man, dude, that's good. Do a good job. Okay. Good. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yeah, look, and you have to remember, it's not about how thick you build the free edge. It's yeah. about just getting something tight to the nail. So I can see, this one's definitely better. It's, it's more flush. Correct. Like it's not, they don't have a lot of product over. So, and yeah, I if I get a little bit more product, I just need a little bit more product to work with. Yes. And I think it'll be it'll be better, but um, That's okay. I, I can, I'm getting the feel. It's, I'd rather have you start off with something small. It doesn't overwhelm the tip. Yeah. A lot of beginners, what they end up doing is they pick up way too much and then it starts running all over the place and they don't have control, they're on the nail, and yeah. it's become this big blob on yeah. the end. Okay. Start off small, we're gonna focus on just tight, active length nails. Okay. Okay, so, Try to pick yourself up a large pearl. Okay. Right? You want to practice? Uh, okay. Go, go for just it. Just go for mass, bro. Go for it, bro. Go for mass, bro. <laughs> go. <laughs> Good. Yep. Oh, yeah. Remember that touch. Oh, you got the touch. All right. Yep. And then remember where I'm pulling from. Just from the tip, right? Yeah. You can lift the finger up. Lift the finger up. up. There okay. you go. And good job. See that little bit of a ledge? Right. What do you mean? You see how it's showing? Uh, yep. Oh, right here? Just brush it through. There you go. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see that little. Brush it through. Brush, through. brush it all from the front of the nail. Just from the front. Brush it through. You're stopping. Just, just, just brush it brush through. it all the way? Brush it through. Feel it connect. Good. That's what I mean by brushing it okay. through. Okay, I got you. Good. So what you're, the reason why I want you to brush it through here because you have a great upper arch. So what I want you to do on your next one is okay. set the pearl. Don't set it, don't set it on top of here. Set, it, set here. it here in front. And what size pearl? You're gonna have to go with about half the size. 
because of again, the big one of the big one good like that mm -hmm. turn your brush around okay set it right in the front. Right yeah feather it in, flush into the body good wipe your brush okay and now use the uh, use the body of the brush to walk it down the side to fill the space just like you build the tip okay go around yeah keep going and then from the top walk it to the top yep and now just try to get everything as even as you can. Good job, man. Wow. And do I want to like, square it off? So it's just recognizing where you have thickness. You see how you have thickness at the tip? Yeah, I do. Use see the that. body and move it into the areas that you need to. Good. Man, great job. Not bad. I mean, seriously, building a sculpture now. Your first sculpture now. First that sculpture. It's really impressive. <laughs> Good. So yep. what I want you to do is add one more small pearl to that area. Right there. So how are you going to do it? Are you going to lay it down like this or are you going to feather it in? I would imagine I would feather it Correct. in. Correct. Watch. Go ahead and get a small pearl. Okay. Yep. Turn it around. Feather it in. Wipe your brush. Now use the body of the brush to get it even with the whole thing. Yes. Make sure that you no, leave no ledges. Press it down firm enough so that it compresses into the acrylic. I think I put too much, right? It's okay. I would like to see good. So that is really, really good. So you see a little bit, try to get that area tight. Use the base of the brush to get it in there. You see that? Yeah. Nice. Get okay, add a little bit more to, to the middle. Add more? Yeah, because you, you can see that there's a little bit of a line. You just have a little bit of a flat space right there. I'm being really picky. Right but here? I want What I'm trying to get you used to is picking it up and feathering it in. Right. Good. Right here? Yep. Right there? Yep. Press yes, and now use the body to get it nice and tight. Okay. It's almost like the base of the brush. You feel that? Yeah. Good. All the way across. Nice, bro. <laughs> good. And now just square off whatever is the there. Front. Look at that, dude. That's tight. It's good. Yeah, I can see it looks more even. You you know what's you know you know what I'm I just realized, bro. So I think like one of the biggest things as a beginner right now is like m moving my hand closer to the to the brush like a pen that dude that right there that allowed me to like be able to control so it's like picking up the right consistency that's rad is huge oh, yeah. and then laying it down and then moving my fingers a little closer bro and then it's like then I can balance because Correct. I was like, this is awkward still. Let me, and then I scoot it up and a little. Just take a little bit of pressure off your right. hand. I gotta, I gotta get used to just using, you see that? Yeah. That right was, there. Just, if you're, if you're closer up here, yeah. then you don't need to right. do the Darth Vader death grip. That's exactly right. So, <laughs> so huge for me was doing that. Cause then I, then I was like, wow, I can, I can, I can control better. And then once, once I feel like I can control better. Now I feel like I have a little bit more confidence of like, okay, I think I can do this. I think the best part and the best takeaway from this is that it's not just about putting the form on and building the body. It's having balance, Huge. control of your brush Huge. so that it makes it easier for you to sculpt something that doesn't need a lot of filing. Yep, that's exactly right. And that's really good. good. Yeah. Watch, yeah, you take huge. the form off, you're gonna be able to see what it looks like. Look at that. It's awesome. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm stoked. I mean, that dude, it's... That's honestly the best nail I've ever done. It's incredible because you don't really need a lot of filing, man, to, to file that into shape. All right, I'm done, lesson's over. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time. And I think a proper intro into is like, Come in, bro, to this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>